right now. These learning goals are wrong. <laughs> I didn't change them um, because I forgot to. Honestly, that's what happened. I, I made this lesson over the weekend and I was supposed to go back and change these, but then I didn't do it and I can't change them when I'm already in a pair deck. It won't let me change it. So I'll tell you what the learning goal is. But anyhow, the topic is tangent inverse. This also goes with 13.1. So the same section of your book that was tangent ratio, um, the second half of 13.1 is on tangent inverse. And so we're revisiting the same section. Um, the essential question is the same because that's from the same section in the book. Your learning goals, um, basically this is not it. What we're gonna be doing today is um, finding a missing angle measure, okay? given the tangent ratio. So um, before, what we were doing is identifying a tangent ratio when we were given an angle. So we're basically reversing this. And so just a little bit of review about the tangent ratio. This is what we learned about um, when we first visited this section of the, I'll leave that on calculator because that's a little crazy. Okay, so review, the tangent of an acute angle is the ratio of the length of the opposite leg to the length of the adjacent leg. So this is what we've already learned, that tangent is equal to this fraction of the opposite side length, the leg length, over the adjacent leg length. And we can identify the sides for an angle. Uh, in this case, we're looking at angle L, which is right here, okay, in this triangle LMN. And, um, it's a right triangle. We know that because of the little box. And so wherever your right angle is, the side of the triangle that's opposite the right angle, where the 10 is, this is the hypotenuse. When we work with tangent, we don't need the hypotenuse. Uh, the hypotenuse is used for sine and cosine. For tangent, we use opposite over adjacent. So if we look at angle L, the side that is adjacent to L, the leg that is adjacent to L is eight, and the leg that is opposite L is six. So this uh, tangent ratio for angle L is six over eight, six eighths. And if I happen to look at the tangent ratio for the other acute angle M, um, then these two would be reversed. So that actually would then in that case be eight over six. So the two tangent ratios for L and M, eight six and six eights, those are numbers that we call multiplicative inverses because six eights times eight six gives me one. Okay, and that's true about the two tangent ratios of a right triangle, the two acute angles. They multiply to one. They're uh, reciprocals of each other. Okay, so that's that's some review. And this is our new vocabulary term, inverse tangent of angle A. This is how you would read it, but this is how you, you write it in math notation. So inverse tangent of angle A is tan with a negative one exponent and then the A. Inverse tangent of angle A. If you know the tangent of A, which is just a ratio, if you know that fraction, you know that ratio, then you can use the inverse tangent of angle A to find the measure of angle A, all right? And so this is the slide we're gonna do together right now. Um, I'm gonna go to this one instead. This thing, my computer's been so weird today. It doesn't like me resizing my windows. It's really strange, super strange. So whatever, I'll just put this over here. Um, show your responses. Just won't let me resize them. It, it's the strangest thing today. Like I look for that little arrow and it just doesn't pop up. Okay, so uh, it starts on example three. The reason why is we're in the same section for tangent ratio and we've already did the first half of that lesson, so this is just revisiting it, but now we're looking at tangent inverse. And we're gonna find the measure of the indicated angle and round to the nearest degree. So we have a picture of a right triangle, okay? It's a right triangle because I have the 90 degree angle here. Uh, the two legs of this right triangle are 36 and 19. And the hypotenuse, I don't know, 
but that's okay. I don't need to know it when I'm trying to use um, the tangent inverse to find a missing angle measure. It's, it's not necessary, so it's not even labeled. If I have a right triangle and I have the two leg lengths, I can use tangent, the inverse tangent equation to figure out the missing angle measures, angle A and angle B. And we're gonna first look at angle A. So um, for measure of A, which is what we're gonna find first, that's this angle here. And the first step says write the tangent ratio for angle A using the known values. So tangent of A is equal to, and this is a good time to write out um, what we know about Sokotoa. If you write this down all the time, you'll get used to writing it, and then it's just a nice reference point. So tangent is OA, T-O-A. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. The opposite side length to A is 19. And then the adjacent side length to angle A is 36. Okay, Comparing them to angle A, 19 is opposite, 36 is adjacent. Once you have the tangent ratio set up, step two is to rewrite it as the inverse tangent equation. So what we're right here is tan inverse of that ratio, 19 over 36, is actually equal to the measure of angle A. And then I'm gonna use the calculator to figure out what the measure of angle A is. Um, going back to the Google calculator here. All right, so uh, I'm gonna put some notes just off to the side for you about the Google calculator. Make sure you're just on a regular Google calculator. I had an issue with someone last period. They're on some type of themed Google page and the calculator was just all kinds of like weird. So um, just be on regular Google. Anyhow, so the first thing you wanna do is um, you wanna make sure that you are on degrees. We've talked about that before. First thing, um, change to degrees. So over here, that means I'm gonna click DEG, and now it's darker than RAD, so that means I'm on degrees. Um, next step to evaluate this is I need to get the tangent inverse button. So what I have to click is this INB button. So you're gonna click INB is next. Um, click INB. When I do that, you're gonna see that sine, cosine, and tangent have now changed. If I click it again, they go back. If I click it once, they all have this negative one here now. So after I click that, the next step, is to click tan. And so in order to do this, um, I have to go back and just add like a little negative one in. You can hand draw a negative one in or you can just do another text box and add it in, okay? Once I've clicked that, here's what's a little bit maybe confusing. What it says in my calculator now is arc tan. All right, so that might be confusing because like that's not what I pressed, but that's what the tangent inverse is also called, arc tan. All right, so uh, for um, you're gonna have uh, you have arc tan open parenthesis. Um, for five, you're going to Enter the ratio and close the parentheses. I don't know if that's how you spell parentheses, but we'll go with that. Now I gotta Google search it. Parentheses. Yeah. If you have one, not parentheses, parentheses. 
noun, plural, parentheses, parentheses. Gosh. Parentheses. Okay, there we go. That's how you write parentheses, singular. <laughs> uh, joys of being a math teacher is like my constant inability to spell. All right. So I have arctan, and then we're going to enter the ratio and close the parentheses. So the ratio is 19 over 36. Uh, 19 divided by 36, close parentheses. Now I'm just going to copy this and put it in the notes on my slide, just so you have it as a reference of what that would look like. And then I'm gonna hit equals. Okay, and this is where this number comes from, 27 decimal, and then all of that is right here. That's the measure of angle A approximately. And then if we round it to the nearest degree, that's where 28 comes from. 27.8 rounds to 28 full degrees. All right. Questions on what we just did? Okay, Jason, no worries. Um, see if there's any in Go Guardian. No, no questions so far. So you guys are just filling in, you know, this is something you should probably add all this typing. So good job doing that because this shows you how to use the calculator for Arctan, which is more complicated than just for regular tan. So you should type all this in. So good job to those of you that are already doing that. Um, what we are going to do next is part B. We're going to find the measure of angle B. Oh, wait, before we do that, I'm just going to use the same color that I was using for measure of angle A, angle A is 20 degrees approximately. And so, you know, if I type that in here, I wonder if the yellow will show up too though. Eight. Kind of hard to see. Okay. So, um, you know, at this point right now, to find the measure of angle B, you have a couple different options. <laughs> um, since we're learning how to use tangent inverse, that's the option I'm going to show you. But um, if I know in a triangle that this is 90 and this is 28, I could find the measure of angle B a different way. And I can actually use that method um, to check my work and make sure that I'm doing things correctly. But I'm going to show you this method, because this is the method you have to learn. Um, what is the measure of angle B? So I'm gonna use a different color. Angle B is up here, this is B. And now uh, we're gonna write that tangent ratio. I'm gonna move this down here so I can reference it. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So of B, opposite side, over adjacent side, these have now switched their roles. So now, this is the opposite, and this is the adjacent. They switched. And so right here, I'm going to type 36 in the numerator. And I'm going to type 19 in the denominator, right? So anytime you get the tangent ratios of the two acute angles in a right triangle, they are multiplicative inverses of each other. They're reciprocals of each other. The tangent ratio for angle A is 19 over 36. The tangent ratio for angle B is 36 over 19. You know, you can even add like a little note over here about that too, if you want to. Um, the two tangent ratios oops, for the two acute angles in a right triangle 
are multiplicative inverses <laughs> or they are reciprocals. That's not right. Reciprocals of each other. Right. So again, you can always add anything you want to your notes. Um, that's good to recognize. The two tangent ratios for the two acute angles in a right triangle are multiplicative inverses or they are reciprocals of each other. Okay, 19 over 36 for angle A, 36 over 19 for angle B. And now we're going to rewrite this as the tangent equation. So um, we're going to write tan and then we're going to put an uh, exponent of negative 1. And then in the numerator, we're going to put 36. Denominator, we're going to put 19. And what I want you to try to do is to come over here and use all the buttons to figure this out. Okay, so these are your steps. You're going to change it to degrees, which means DEG is darker than RAD. That might already be done. Uh, click INV so that you get the inverse functions. Click the one you need, tan inverse. Shows up as arctan. You're going to enter your ratio, 36 divided by 19. Close parenthesis. And then hit equals. And see what you get. I'm gonna look at your work and see how we're rounding over here for being the right answer. If you want me to show you those steps again on the calculator, just let me know. So 62 is gonna be too big. Um, one way to check your work, okay, whatever you get here, you know, if I have 28 here and 90 here, 28 plus 90 is 118. So 180 minus 18. No, that's not right. No, it's not. I'm wrong. You're right. 62 is approximately correct. This is right. I'm looking at something else. So. I found my own mistake in my checking of work. That's how you do check your work, and that's how you know if you're accurate, and you are accurate, okay? 28 plus 90 plus, not 61, but let's round this a little bit differently. 62, that gives me what I'm looking for, 180. Yep, that's right. So if you want to see how we type that into the calculator again, just come back to the Google Meet and I'll show you. I'm on my Google calculator. Make sure DEG is highlighted. If it's not, you just click on it so it's darker. We're going to click INV for inverse, TAN inverse. This pops up, ARCTAN, open parenthesis. I'm going to put in our ratio, 36 over 19, or divided by 19, close, equals. So this long answer will go here. And you can copy and paste. And then the approximation, if you round this to the nearest whole degree, is 62. So up here we have 62. And to check my work, um, 28 plus 62 plus 90. 
What does that equal? 62 plus 28 plus 90. Oops. What did I do? <laughs> Try again. 28 plus 62 plus 90 equals 180. That's a good sign. Because, right, the three angles of a triangle, they should add up to 180. So if you're doing your work correctly, that's one way to check it and make sure you're doing that correctly. All right. So once you're done copying uh, what you need on here, um, then you're going to go to the next slide. So I'm going to turn you on to student pace. And the next slide is your turn. All right. Use this to help you, but I want you to find the measure of angle J. You can write all over that. Color coding helps, I think. Yes, you could have, Adriana. Isn't math cool? There's lots of ways to do things. So, um, yeah, you absolutely could have. And probably if you were given a problem where you were given one of these other acute angles, uh, I would actually solve that way because that's quicker. But, um, you know, it's showing you that given a problem like we have here on. Um, for number eight, finding the measure of angle J. Uh, I'm not given either of these acute angles at this point. So to find you know, J or to find K, I could find either of these, I would use the tangent inverse to figure it out. But yeah, for the second angle, you know, you might want to just do 180 minus the other two angles you have. That's usually easier. Um, but then also, you know, if you do it this way, you know, if you made a mistake somewhere, like maybe your calculator was on radians or something, uh, you would find your error too. You know, if I did try to add up my three angles and I didn't get 180, then I would know like, oh, I'm doing something wrong. So, but Adriana's short answer is yes. So I like how this person, they're circling the angle they want to find. Then they're writing the ratio. They wrote the ratio. They have some work here. Um, they are accurate. They're writing out the two equations. Yep. So you guys are getting so good with Pear Deck, like trying to figure out how to use this stuff to make math symbols and things. This is going to be, well, I'm not going to make you go to the last slide today. We'll probably revisit.